Hi, I'm Mike Massimino. For the past few shuttle flights, we've taken you behind the scenes to meet the crews as they train for their flights and the people around the country who make those missions fly. But there's a lot of footage that we haven't shown you yet. So we'd like to take you back to some of our recent flights and introduce you to more of the people who do everything at NASA. We hope you enjoy this episode of NASA Behind the Scenes. Uh, yeah. You know, Mike, this guy used to be a Navy diver, so he's one of the best divers out here. He's got all this Navy experience. He was a chief petty officer in the Navy. That would make that would make sense that you have a Navy guy Perfect. diving here. Right. Yeah. What do you want, an Army guy diving? They don't. They have, yeah. I don't think they have any divers. Do they have divers in the Army? <laughs> Mike, yes. you wouldn't happen to be a Navy guy as well. I'm a Navy would you? guy. I, I'm a retired Perfect. Navy guy, like like Alan here. He's a retired Navy guy too. All right. Tell us what what is your title for this for this launch here? Your closeout crew or what what is it? We're part of the closeout crew. Part of the closeout. Um, I'll be the number seven working on the mid deck. Mike. I'll be the number three and I'll be on the flight deck. Okay, now number seven and number three, uh, to me that's like, you know, Mickey okay. Mantle and Babe right. Ruth or something. That's, but what is right. number seven on, and number three? On, on the closeout crew, each crew member on that crew has a number which gives them a specific duty during the launch. All right. Sense. Okay. And me being the number seven, my responsibilities are being on the mid deck as right. well as if we go into an emergency situation, right. I go on the mid deck and actually egress the, the um, crew off of there as well. Okay. So if you have an emergency, you're going back. Correct. Okay, and same for you, Mike, same you're going back? So you're the number three, yes. you're, and, you, so, and you have these big numbers on your back, right? Yes. Like gigantic yes. numbers. Are they big numbers that they have back there? About four inches. About four, okay. So, that, so they know who you are, because everyone's yes, dressed in those white. Okay, yes. so you're going to, on launch day, you get similar to what you did today, Correct. right? You're going to be, but you're going to be at the Kennedy Space Center yes. and get those guys suited up, right? Correct. And then uh, do you you don't go out to the launch pad with them. You go out before them, right? Mike so what are you going to do? Before them. I will, I will be in the suit room with the, um, with the suit techs okay. and the crew, and I'll ride out to the vehicle with the crew. All right. Now, one of the things you always ask us is, what do you want out at the pad beforehand? You stuff those pockets. So, Mike, you're going to go out there and get all that stuff at the launch right. pad. Any special books or right. stuff like that that people want, right? I will be out at the launch pad a few hours before George and the crew comes out right. with the rest of the closeout crew. Right. And I'll put things where they need to be, set, set the orbiter up with all the, the crew items that, that they want, so. Okay. Uh, so you're gonna go out there and set it up. Mike's, uh, George's gonna take care of the, guy, uh, the guys still. And it, now you said the crew. Now the rest of the crew actually is trying to taunt us behind the camera. Right yes. over there, the yes. rest of the yes. crew is over here, right? Yes. Say, there you are. Right. Yeah. yeah, there are all these guys. So this is your whole team. Yes. yes. And you're all gonna be down at the Cape supporting. Okay, so then the crew comes out there, right? And there's nobody around the space shuttle. Any, I mean, when we go there other days and there's no fuel inside of it, it's, you know, there's lots of people, and, but on launch day it's fuel right. and there's not very many people there. There's no one on no one's there because it's dangerous. Because exactly. <laughs> now you've got fuel inside of the space shuttle. And they don't want to, but they have you guys out there. Oh yeah, they got us. So yeah. well, you're the out there. You're yeah. the crew. So do you ever think of maybe maybe this ain't so smart to be out here exactly. and those because there's nobody else there. That's the thing that struck me. You know, launch well, day. Where is it? When I get out there, yeah. I instruct the crew to go ahead and walk around the vehicle if they want to see it while I'm getting the elevator ready. So right. if I see something happen, I'm gonna jump in the elevator. Those <laughs> doors are going up. But, uh, all right. Leave the crew on the bottom. No, all, all, right. all jokes aside, though. Yeah. Um, crew gets out there. They see the vehicle and they get to look at it. Just yeah. prior to getting the elevators come up to 195. Yeah. And they seem to enjoy watch looking at the vehicle. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty it's pretty cool. You've done it a couple of times. Yeah. I did it the first time I was a little I was, actually was was it was a little scary looking right. at that thing there first. But the second time I enjoy, I have to say I really did enjoy it. My my second I, I knew what to expect and it was it was more fun the second time. But yeah, it's pretty cool looking at that thing. Because it's making noises yes, and yes, it's yes. smoke is coming off of it and stuff, uh, you know, the the burn off or whatever's happened. And that thing looks like it's alive. It's like a beast. <laughs> It is alive, and then you go inside of it and and get to go on your on your trip. So you're going to lock those guys in. Yes. But I thought it was interesting you were saying that if there's a problem, you're going to go back in. So you stay. Where do you guys go? You 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 close the hatch, we'll right? You close. You, you, okay, but you who closes the hatch and locks it? Uh, other members on the closeout crew. Yeah. Uh, you say everybody's numbered. So the number yeah. five. Right. Number four, those guys are the hatch techs, orbiter techs. So they're right. going to close and lock the hatch. So they, okay. George and I, our responsibility is just to go inside the orbiter and, and get the crew inserted into yeah. the vehicle. 
and strapped in. Well, you guys, I think, have some pretty cool jobs. You would, you, you like what you guys, I mean, you guys must love what you do, yeah? Absolutely. You do. And it's, I mean, you think about, you know, it's a cool, people out there watching this, we can imagine, you know, you're the guys that get the crew in there, you know, strap, strap us in, strap the crew in, and usually the last hand that a crew member is going to shake before they go off to space is you guys, so that's that's pretty cool. It's a special position to be in. We're here at the uh, New Point Lab, which is uh, our big pool, but we're, in, we're not in the pool right now, we're at the uh, in the medical area. And what happens is before every NBL, before every uh, practice spacewalk that we do here, we gotta get checked out by these guys. So I've got Sam Strauss, who's a, a medical doctor. Right, Sam? That's right. All right. I hope so, I was asking him and he yeah. said he hesitated. He's been examining me for years. That's right. And now I gotta get a doctor. I, I don't know, oh, oh, yes, uh, of course I am, yeah. So Sam, you were from, you're from the military originally, right? Right, the right. Navy? What? I was in the Navy and the Air Force. Navy and the Air Force, right. oh. Yes. So what did you do, when the Navy was the going out to war, you said, no, I'm in the Air Force, and the Air Force. Everyone said, hey, we have this dangerous assignment. Oh, I gotta go to the Navy, is that right? Uh, one at a time. One at a time, all right. First I was in submarines and diving. Right. That was the Navy, yeah. And then I was a flight surgeon in the Air Force. Okay, so I did both. So you did both, just uh, underwater? Yeah. And, and in the air. Right. They did everything. Perfect. 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 That's what we do. We do stuff perfect. underwater to practice the space walk. Yeah. Now we got to go in the air to go to that. All right, perfect. That's what they said when they hired me. My <laughs> friend over here is Chico, who's got another guy that exam, but that's not really your name. Nope. Right, that's only your nickname. What do you, what's your real name? Because I can't pronounce your real name. Juan Moran. That's what it is. <laughs> All right, and you and you've been uh, you've been in the you're in the Air Force. I've been in the Air Force right? 26 years. Okay, so you examine guys in the Air Force. It was all aviation stuff. Right? All that's aviation, right. physiology. Uh, right. My my medical is only uh, well physiology world. So okay. I, I, I used to do the combat training, go out to the fields, and I had to yank the bodies from. Being injured and okay. bring them back to yeah, the first aid station and nice. give them over to the doc and he will make them. Mine okay. will just stop, you know, stabilize them and then bring them back to so the guy can take care of them. So you helped out lots of guys. Oh, lots yes. of guys. Yes. And here you help us out, yeah. you're ready to go. You yes. teach us our classes, what we need to do to keep ourselves healthy, the Both right things to do inside the airplane, right. all that stuff. And you, you give us a lot of good training and then you check us out here. You do lots of stuff to make sure we don't get hurt exactly. while we're doing all this. Exactly. Crazy stuff. All the, all the adventure stuff. All our adventure stuff. stuff. Yeah, that's what I call it. All right, and, and my friend Jim, <laughs> last right. name. Catford? Yeah, all right, actually, I can't pronounce that. Right. Right. The Italian name's like a handle. <laughs> Jim, you do, uh, you have the same job as, uh, as Chief. Basically, I started out in the Navy. In the Navy, Navy. right. Okay. As a hospital corpsman, uh, as a physiology mm -hmm. technician specialized. So it's kind of interesting. I work with chambers and work with water spot in the Navy. Mm -hmm. So now I'm doing the same thing, but same the thing chambers again. go higher and the pool's deeper. Pool's okay. So, so, again, it's the very handle on the water. All right, well, these guys, uh, check us out before we do any of our adventurous stuff. Give us training before we go as well right. so we don't get hurt when you're not watching us. Exactly. And uh, today what you guys did is you checked out the, you checked out a bunch of divers that are going to support the guys in the suits, right? And then you, you checked out the guys that are going to, the astronauts who are going to go in the suits. Right. All right. And we'll, we'll see how they do today. All right. Thanks, guys.